Got another question for the Buffer Solutions playlist, just a short one this one. I uh, hope you like the video and if you do, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so we'll make a start. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write an equation for the reaction that's taking place and I'm going to work out the initial and final moles of um, everything in the reaction. Um, and that'll help me explain this part of the question and it's also something we've got to do anyway for the calculation. Okay, so there's the equation for the reaction. The initial moles is just concentration times volume for the acid and the potassium hydroxide. Obviously, you won't have any salt or water at the start. And then the final moles, you can see that the acid's in excess, so there's some left over. Um, all the KOH reacts and but the moles of KOH are going to limit the amount of salt that's produced. So the reason we've got a buffer is because since the acid was in excess, there's some of that left and there's also some salt of the acid present as well because that was a product of the reaction. So moving on to the calculation, the H plus concentration of a buffer can be calculated by multiplying the Ka of the weak acid by the acid concentration all over the salt concentration. I'll refer to this as the acid over salt expression, so I'll get my acid and salt the right way around. So all I need to do now is put in the numbers. So there's the numbers in there, just quickly talk through them. Um, the Ka of the acid wasn't given. It was the pKa, so Ka is 10 to the minus pKa. The acid concentration will be the moles divided by the volume that everything's in, which was 100 cm cubed, which is 0 0.1 of a decimeter cubed. And the concentration of the salt will be its moles over that combined volume. Now, technically, you don't need the 0 0.1s in there, but I like to put them in because effectively, this is concentration, so we should put concentration in there, but you don't have to. So the H plus concentration of the buffer comes out at that, and all we need to do now is minus log and give our answer to two decimal places. So you should get 3.93. Moving on to the last part, I'm going to use this equilibrium to explain the effect of the ammonia on the buffer. So obviously the buffer system at play here is the weak acid, the salt ion, and the H plus ion. So if you add a little bit of ammonia to this buffer system, it's going to react with the H plus ions, take them down, and so the glycolic acid needs to dissociate more to replace them, so the equilibrium shifts to the right.